Well, this is a big rally that President Putin is holding in Moscow. He's just had a meeting with the Chinese foreign minister Dear this morning. Russia. Dear friends. I think we've got translations. So let's... We are meeting with you on the eve of the Day of the Defender of the Motherland. In these words, there's something powerful, huge, I would say something mystical and sacred. And one of the prayers starts with our Father, our Father. And this is something that is close to every person. We say motherland as well. We talk about family, we talk about something big, powerful, and something that is also close to the heart of every person. It's the motherland, it's family. But generally speaking, Motherland and family within our heart is the same thing. We have these people, we've got people to the left, to the right. There are people who are making this decision for themselves to defend the most sacred, the most dear that we have. The dearest thing is the family and the motherland. And today, in this special military operation, today we're here to celebrate, but I've just heard from the highest military command of our country that right now there is a fight going on on our historical borders for our people, and the same uh, brave men as we have here, they are fighting over there in a heroic way, in a brave way, and we are proud of them. We are proud of them, and in their honor, let's say, hooray, three times. They should hear our call. They are supported by the whole country, and that means that everyone who is doing it is also a defender of the motherland. These are medical workers who are helping our soldiers to come back. These are doctors, nurses. These are, of course, employees of the defense sector, transportation sector, everyone is involved. All of you here who have come here to support our soldiers. Thank you. This is even children, children who are writing their letters to support the military. This is very important, and when we are protecting our interests, our people, when we are protecting our language, culture, our territory, everyone, all of our people are defenders of the motherland. And we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. And I congratulate you on the coming holiday, the day of the defender of the, of the motherland. The anthem of the Russian Federation. There, the state anthem of the Russian Federation, the national anthem of Russia. Uh, as President Putin uh, talked about the importance of what is happening in Ukraine, his special military operation, as he calls it, he says we are defending the most sacred things we have, the family and the motherland. And he said that the bravery does not just extend to those troops on the front, they are the defenders of the motherland, but it's also those who are supporting them, the medical workers, the defence workers and the transportation workers, uh, as well as all of those who are at the stadium today. They are, of course, gathering for a rally to celebrate 
the special military operation and to support those who are involved in it. Let's bring, in our <clears throat> Let's bring in our Moscow correspondent, Diana Magne. Diana, President Putin uh, meeting various military top brass there before he, he re-speaks to the crowd. Let's just listen in. Apologies, Diana. We've got nobody to match us. Hooray to the unity of the Russian people. Russia. We all know that what is going, what is happening now will end in our victory, because our power lies in truth. Victory will be ours. Glory to the defenders of our motherland. We, we are grateful to you from the bottom of our hearts. Let's return to Diana Magnus. Sorry, Diana, we thought that he was going to say a lot more, but he, he didn't. Um, you could hear the chants of, of, of Russia, Russia at the end of his speech there. I presume you were able to hear them outside the stadium as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it's sort of unbelievable, really, to hear, I suppose, 200,000 people. You can see those pictures better than us. We weren't accredited to go in chanting Russia. And those final words from the guy on this stage with him, victory will be ours, which you hear over and over again from people here, victory will be ours. But they can't define what victory will look like. I took away from that short speech of Vladimir Putin this idea when he says we're defending our language, our culture, our land. Even if he's talking about Donbass, Donbass is not Russian land. Donbass is Ukrainian land. Um, and, uh, but that is the justification, well, one of the many justifications that sort of Vladimir Putin pulls out of his hat, really, to justify this special military operation of his, that he was protecting, liberating the people of Donbass. So on stage a little earlier, we had a liberator from Mariupol. If you think about the absolute wreckage of Mariupol, it is extraordinary to even think that the Russians can consider themselves as having liberated it. But that is the way it is pitched here. I spoke to Sergei Markov a couple of days ago, who's an advisor to Vladimir Putin, and he said, you know the way that the Allies bombed the cities in Germany, Dresden, Berlin, and destroyed those. Uh, you thought that you were liberating them from the Germans, and that's how it's perceived now. Well, Russia will be perceived in the same way in the future. That is the kind of convoluted logic that, uh, you know, the propagandists uh, spin on what Russia is doing in Ukraine. And this, for Vladimir Putin, was a way of showing that the people behind him, uh, a message to the troops at the front, a rallying cry for the entire nation that Russia is in the right, that they are defending their motherland against this supposed threat which comes from the West, which he has detailed at length. Um, and actually, even though you can see a lot of people already streaming out, because mostly they just tell you it's extremely cold, uh, most of the people here believe that rhetoric. They believe that language. That said, a lot of them are streaming out because they've, they've got buses to catch, buses that were laid on from them by state companies to bring them here. Um, so, uh, 
you know, these kinds of very choreographed event, events have happened since Soviet times, and they happen still. A way of, 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 of pre presenting an image, a propaganda image that can be beamed across state TV that people can b get behind and believe that Russia is on the right path. Um, but it does feel very hollow. OK, Diana, thank you very much. Diana Magne for us there in Moscow outside uh, this stadium, the Lushneki Stadium, where President Putin uh, has spoken to the assembled crowds there. 200,000 people gathered at that stadium for this enormous rally to celebrate uh, their troops, the people, he says, who are out there defending the most sacred thing that Russia has, the family and the motherland.